Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Vaughn, and this is a lesson on trigonometric ratios. Now these ratios basically tell us of a relationship between the angles and the sides of a right triangle. So we have a right triangle here, and we can take a look at some trigonometric ratios. We're going to be focusing on sine, cosine, and tangent. First of all, the definition of the sine of an angle is the opposite leg from that angle over the hypotenuse. So if we're looking at the sine of angle A, and that's how we'll show it in all of our uh, problems here, sine of A, that's going to be equal to the opposite leg from angle A. So that's going to be this leg that has length little a over the hypotenuse, which is always the longest side in a right triangle, and that is going to be C. So the sine of A will be A, little a, over little c. Cosine is defined as the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So cosine will be the adjacent leg is one of the legs that forms our angle. And that's going to be this leg right here, which is B. So the cosine of angle A will equal little b over the hypotenuse, which is, again, little c. Okay, and finally, the tangent of an angle is defined as the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So the tangent of angle A is equal to the opposite leg from A, which is little a, over the, op the adjacent leg to A, which is little b. All right, and that is all there is to these three ratios. Now, a trick to remember is this acronym right here, SOCATOA. If you can remember this word, this acronym, then you'll always remember these rules for sine, cosine, and tangent. Because this stands for sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay? So hopefully that will help you remember all of these <laughs> formulas here. All right, let's take a look at uh, an example problem and see if we can use sine, cosine, and tangent. We want to find the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of angle Q here. First of all, the sine of Q is going to be the opposite, si opposite leg over the hypotenuse. The opposite leg, well, first of all, this is a right triangle, but the opposite leg from Q is right here with a length of 24. The the hypotenuse is the longest leg in our or the longest side in our triangle, which is 26. All right, we can reduce that to 12 over 13, and that is the sine of angle Q. The cosine of angle Q is going to be the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So that is going to be 10 over 26, which will reduce to 5 thirteenths. And finally, we have the tangent of Q. Well, I'm going to leave that one up to you. See if you can find the tangent of angle Q. And when you've got it, just click Continue. All right, the tangent of angle Q is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So the tangent is going to be 24 over 10, which will reduce to 12 over 5. And we just leave it like that as a fraction, 12 over 5. And that is how we use sine, cosine, and tangent. So great job, everyone. <laughs> Good luck with the rest of your homework. You can get more geometry help by signing up for Nutshell Math.